Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday to you. You have made it to the end of the work week. We are staring down the end of the week, the end of the month, actually. And I can't think of a better way to spend this day, either at the beginning or wherever time you're listening to this, than to include a look at God's Word together. And that's what we're going to do. So welcome to 5 Minutes with Phil. Thanks for joining me here today. This morning, I have a uh, scripture that I'm excited to share with you. Now, I know that I've read this verse before, but um, when I read it in preparation for uh, this session of 5 Minutes with Phil, I it just stood out to me. And I thought, man, this is a great verse to uh, share with my friends who watch us every day. And so I want to take you to the book of Isaiah. Okay, we're in Isaiah chapter 41, and it's verse 13. Take a look at this. And here's what it says. And this is God talking. You ready? God says, For I hold you by your right hand, I the Lord your God, and I say to you, don't be afraid. I am here to help you. All right. What a what a great verse, huh? I mean, uh, God God kind of gives us this really great picture here that I I really want you to grab for yourself here today. Um, so let's kind of break this down here and and and, uh, and see what the Lord says. The, the The Lord says that He holds us. He holds our hand. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, when, when life gets unsteady, well, l- let me put it this way. When, when here in Northeast Ohio, we know what snow and ice is all about. And uh, sometimes if somebody has a hard time walking, um, it's good if there's someone to kind of hold their hand or even hold their arm to keep them from falling. And this is the picture that I see of God in this verse. He holds our hand, and I don't think that's to drag us from place to place. I think the reason why the Lord does that is to do everything he can to keep us from falling, to keep us secure, to keep us from going the the wrong direction. And so he very much uh, gets involved in our lives to see us succeed because he wants you to succeed more than you want to see yourself succeed. So he holds our hand and and then the scripture tells us that we shouldn't be afraid. Now, uh, I know that there are moments that we have where we get real nervous, we get full of anxiety, we get full of fear because of some things that we're going through. And it's very understandable because we kind of live in a strange time right now in our culture. We don't know what the economy is going to be like. We don't know what this is and that is. And and through all of it, through all of it, I think that God's word to us, regardless of your situation, is okay. We're not going to deny that things are tough. We're not going to deny that life is messy, but don't be afraid about it. Why? Because I'm holding your hand. I'm keeping you steady here. I've got you. I've got you. And then he concludes this verse by saying, don't be afraid. I am here to help you. Now, don't lose sight of this passage here. Because I think sometimes we get this idea that God is kind of detached from us, right? That, okay, Jesus did all the work that he needs to do. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. Okay, we're good. He's he's. He just waiting for us to come to heaven, and that's when he'll interact with us again. And that's not it. Literally, I, be- I firmly believe this. Literally, God is with you to help you. So he's there to help you make a tough decision. He's there to help you succeed at work. He's help you to do. He's there to help you do well at school. He is. He's there with you, and he wants to help you. And today, there is no greater person that you could ask help from than God. And I encourage you to do that today. So this morning, all throughout this weekend, will you take these promises with you? Uh, God's holding your hand here. And you don't need to be afraid. 
and he is there to help you whenever you need help. And those are some promises that we can live out in these next few days, okay? That's all the time I've got. We love you. Thanks for joining me, and we will talk again later. Bye-bye. <music>